So, you know there could be a lot of different ways to multiply two numbers. Um, and there's sort of a shortcut or traditional way. And, and that's fine, but sometimes you want to have a way that really shows your understanding of what multiplication means or helps you visualize it so that you understand it better yourself. And expanded notation method can help with that. Um, it's a little bit similar to the place value sections method because we can break down larger numbers into their place value parts. So on the left side here, you can see that we have an area model of the factors 6 and 54. And that looks a lot like the place value sections model, but we're going to go at it a little bit differently. Um, we're still going to be thinking to ourselves in terms of breaking numbers apart. So we have 54 broken into its place value parts of 50 and 4. And of course, 6 just has the ones place value, so we're good to go there. Now, with expanded notation, we find the area or the product of the 10 section by taking that 50 and multiplying it by 6. Another way to look at that is on the right. We see the same thing. And when we have 50 groups of 6, well, again, we can break that down into 5 times 10 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30, and 30 times 10 is 300. Next, we take that 1's place, 4, and multiply it by 6. So again, on the right side, it might look that way. And the nice thing about 4 times 6 is it's a math fact. 4 groups of 6 is 24. So now we have the product of the tens place in the 54, the product of the ones place, and it's simple as adding those to get our total product. Six rows of 54 gives us 324. Let's take a look at this. Now that, now that you've got an idea of how we set up our place value section, area model kind of a thing, and then our expanded notation over here on the right. Let's try it together with a different. So here we have four groups of 67. And again, we can represent that in an area model pretty quickly. We have four groups of. Well, we have 67, so that's 60 plus 7. We'll put a 4 over here, too, so we can kind of see that whole thing going on. And we can set up some expanded notation to the right. We take that 67, and we break it apart into its place value components. 60 plus 7. And, of course, the 4 remains just a 4. And this is where it gets fun. First, we're going to multiply that tens place, 60, times 4. And these lines just give us a visual for what's happening, help us, help us move through each part without missing anything. So I have my 60 times 4. 
and I could break that up again into 6 times 10 times 4 and this is where it gets fun 6 times 4 is 24 times 10 is 240 oh how I love being able to change the order I'm multiplying my factors in so here I have the product of the tens place now I've got to roll through and find the product of the ones place that's seven groups of four and hooray hooray it's math fact I don't even have to think twice I just say oh seven groups of four that's 28 and I have the product of the ones place what I need is the total product so I add four groups of 67 268 amigos so this is moving starting to move away from being able to see things in the place value section which, which that's a good method and you can stick with that if it works for you and starting to do things in, in a more abstract or naked numbers way I like to pair them, pair the area model with this at first so that you can really see what's going on. Happy multiplying!